Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will talk about the another new operator that is nothing but buffer when. So we are learning about this all buffer operators, right? This is the last operator uh, uh, that comes under buffer. So buffer when operator. What is this buffer when operator? Buffer when operator is nothing but buffers the source observable values using a factory function of closing observable to determine when to close, emit and reset the button, buffer. So that means the buff, it buffers the source observable, it buffers the source, the values that are coming from the observable, observable, it buffers the values and when it will be closed is, so you can uh, send and you can send an observable, uh, you, can, uh, you can use an intermediate observable in between the buffer, so that whenever this intermediate observable emits the data, it will close the buffer and it will send the data. Immediately the buffer will be opened. So let's try to see the marble diagram for this one. So here you can see the syntax buffer when and here is a closing selector. This is a factory function. So that means it is not directly observable. It is a factory function. So now you may be getting doubt that buffer and buffer when are something same only. Yeah. So here it looks like buffer operator and the buffer when operator is looks like somewhat lit, same only. But you here you can buffer when operator what you can do is here you can apply dynamic observable. So you can define the dynamic observable. So it can, it can, you can use the dynamic observables so that that observables may emit the different types of data. But in the buffer, you have, you can use only one observable. So if that observable emits the data, then only it will be displayed. But here you can use the different types of observables based on the conditions. I will show you how to do. Here, see if you see the marble diagram, B, C, D, buffer uh, intermediate. You are having a source observable here. And here is an intermediate observable and it is using the buffer when and this is the output. So now here B, C, D has been emitted and this intermediate observable what it is doing is when we output this B, C, D immediately intermediate observer emit the data. So these all B, C, D are stored in the buffer and these will be displayed as an array. The same scenario E, F, G nothing has been emitted but the complete uh, source observable is completed immediately E, F, G has been printed. Okay. So this is the buffer when operator. So let's try to see in the real time scenario how we use this buffer buffer time buffer when operator. Okay. Now if I try if I go here, let's try to create ng gc buffer. Sorry, in the pages we'll create in the pages slash buffer when operator operator. Now let's open this one and let's go to the app component HTML and not app component app row app not app row operator dot html and here i am using a new link buffer when sorry buffer when and here i can use buffer when that's it and in the app component dot html not in the routing uh, pages buffer when operator it is telling some error okay where is this one yeah we can remove this one actually so we already have a buffer when operator i i created once i think so now we here we are adding nggc again let's go to the app routing and here i can add something like buffer when and here i need to use buffer let's let it create now it has been created now here i can use buffer when when right yeah buffer when operator that's it now if i try to check the output if i open here yeah we are able to see the buffer when operator now i want to show you the data buffer when and here if i go to the buffer when operator okay so here i will try to do yeah so now if i try to refresh this page yeah buffer when operator and now in the ng on init what i will try to do is so I have an interval which will emit the data for every 500 milliseconds and this interval should be imported from the RxJS and here I will be using a pipe operator okay dot subscribe so here you will be emitting the data console.log console.log data so I am emitting the data here now I will be using the buffer when operator okay so buffer when operator I will be using the buffer when operator and here this buffer when operator will take a factory function so it as it is a factory function 
and now what this function has to return it has to return an observable so i will return an interval so which will emit the data for every 2 seconds okay so it will return an interval for every 2 seconds now if i try to see what could be the output let's try to assume so now buffer is emitting the data and here see for every 2 seconds it is having 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 9 10 11 so here you are able to see the buffer data so that means for every 2 seconds the buffer is closed immediately whatever the data it is stored in the buffer it is displaying now what is the difference between this buffer and the buffer when is for example see here i have something like let x is equal to 0 so i am having a variable x is equal to 0 so what i can do here so i can use a tap operator so just it's a tap operator is a side effect so now in this tap operator what i can do is here i will be getting the data sorry not the data so something like i value and here in this i value what i will try to do is i will try to assign this i value to the x okay so i have assigned this one so i can use something like this or otherwise we can use anything okay so i have used this tap operator this tap operator what it will try, try to do is if for every interval 500 milliseconds so it will get the value and we are assigning it to the x value now here i can write a condition something like if x is greater than 5 okay take the interval so return return a new observable so i it will return the new observable something like interval of 500 okay or otherwise return interval of 2000 so let's try to see what will happen or otherwise what i can do something like 5 to, uh, i can do 1000 okay right so now let's try to see the output so if i try to refresh this value so what will happen see 0 1 2 and here we got the value so here for every one second we are able to get the data see so we are able to write a condition so we are able to make a condition that which observable we want to emit so we can we can do the dynamic observable select emit, emission so there in the buffer operator we can have only one interval something like fixed something like one observer i mean to say not interval one observable only it will be emitted so we cannot use the dynamic allocation of the observable but here in the buffer when operator we can add a condition in such a way that so we can add our own observable at what time we need to display so this is about the buffer when operator now if i try if we try to see our operators what we have discussed up to now so these are all buffer buffer count buffer time buffer toggle and buffer when these are all the buffer operators okay hope you understood about this buffer ultimately what i can say is these buffer operators what it will try to do is when a source observable is sending the data these buffer operators it will buffer the data into the into the buffer so it will catch the data and it will emit the data whenever the buffer is full so it depends on the condition so it depends on the observable emission or buffer size excision like buffer count buffer time of our per a particular period of time toggle means we are opening and closing our own so be with the opening uh, opening observable and a closing observable and buffer when is nothing but what we have seen so depending on the different different situations we will ask the buffer to emit the data so whatever the data we have stored in the buffer so through the source observer we will be asking that to emit the data so these are the buffer operators that are used in the rxjs hope you understood about these buffer operators if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.